Hey, I just thought I'd make a video. I'm upgrading my car to OBD1 from OBD0. And basically what I did was I started taking out everything to make it easier for me to do the uh, ECU wiring. I'm gonna get to in a second. First thing I did was I took out my seat, made a little room. Got rid of the uh, center console, put it over there, which that was kind of a bitch because if anybody's ever had to do that and you've never had anyone do anything to your dashboard, you'll know that there's a couple screws that are real bitch to make it real hard to get it out. But anyways, I got that out. Took out my glove box also, make it a little bit easier. If you can see over there, I put it over there, there's a little yellow piece of paper that's actually the car receipt from a, one of my other original 89 SIs that I had but I'll get to that at a different time so anyways what I did was I had bought a jumper off of eBay and the thing was a big piece of crap it just freaking popped one of my friends ECUs and all that so what I did was I actually had a bunch of things wired up from the jumper so what I did is I kept this part of it and what I did is I went to the junkyard and actually found the other clips that I needed I just cut them off it was like a dull sole or something like that, that I found what I'm gonna do is basically just solder them in one at a time to all the corresponding wires and heat shrink them which I've got my heat shrink right here I had to cut that down because the links are like too big so I just cut them in half so now I have enough. So I will come back to you in a little while and let you know how it's going. Start to show you my progress here. Make a little video out of it. So what you're going to need is soldering iron, heat shrink, a pair of strippers. I got them over here. Got two pairs and some pliers and some strippers. But you're gonna need to strip all the ends, and then you're gonna need to cut. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna do it one at a time. I cut one at a time, solder it, check my work, make sure it's all right, so that I don't mess it up. I've got a bunch of diagrams. I got like two or three of them here, showing all the printouts and everything, with all the different where everything goes and all that jargon. So I made sure those are all correct. Now what I'm gonna do is just go over over everything one at a time and show you how it goes okay so the first thing I've done was I stripped all the wires off of the OBD1 plugs so they're ready to go did all three of them and then what I'm gonna do now is take this which is A1 on the OBD0 plug and you're gonna take your OBD1 plug and look for the first pin which will be this guy in the top left corner the brown one right here and the way you want to do this too is you want to make sure that the button you push on the top of the clip is on the top and then you want to make sure that all the pinouts when you see any pinout reading it's always coming from the back side and not from this side because if it comes from this side you're gonna screw yourself and swap everything the wrong way so always make sure whenever you read a pin out or try to do a pin out you're always coming from this side of the wire so the first thing I'm gonna do is get my cutters here wherever they may be oh, let's use this one and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually leave a bit of room here so I don't go all the way to the end of the clip just in case for some reason I ever want to put them back so snip the first one and then what I'm going to do is go in here and strip the end of this wire and then we're taking our first plug and then basically the brown wire from here is going to meet up with that one right there and then you're going to go from there all the way through all the wires and do every single one depending on which way you got it and I got my List all pinned up right here, ready for me, so I know what I'm looking at. And any other reference paperwork over here. So it should be good to go. I'm gonna start this off and see how it goes. Okay, first one down. As you can see, 
soldered and heat shrink. And thing you want to remember too is sometimes I had to learn the hard way a long time ago when I was doing another wiring job. You actually have to put the heat shrink on before you do the soldering because you're going to look like a big idiot and have to redo it. So remember, heat shrink on this side before you put it on. Or this side, I guess it doesn't matter. Just as long as it's on before you solder the wires together. Remember that. So now I'm going to move on to doing the whole clip. Okay, as you can see, I got my uh, first uh, wire done on the uh, on the 89 side. But this isn't the OBD one. This is the OBD zero clip. So first one out of three, as you can see, got the second one getting in there for the OBD one. Pretty much most of the other ones done. I've got a couple left under because I'm about to splice for the VTEC and stuff, so I left those unshrink wrap. But most of all, they're all pretty much done. And, uh, yeah. Keep going here. But I haven't had any problems that I can really think of. I mean, I for the most part, I've thought everything out. The only thing I had to, I messed up on was I actually cut one of the wires too soon on the OBD1 clip so basically I've got to re-splice that with another wire because I uh, actually hooked it up into I, I found an extra wire because I kept some of my wires with the extra pins on them from when I pulled them out so I kept them according to size so I put one in there and I didn't realize that it was actually one that I already had lying around for with the jumper harness that I got so the clip already fits on the wire that I needed. And then be this guy right here. This one already fit, so I don't need to do anything. And it's already spliced, and it's got a cutoff wire. I don't know if you can see it. I got it taped up so I don't lose them, mess them up. But this little black one sticking out right here, that's the one I have to splice that wire with. So I just left that, taped it, gave myself a reminder so I know where that one goes. So all I got to do is just splice that with that little piece of black wire that's sticking off of it. And then I'll be ready to go. But other than that, uh, yeah, should I'm cracking on. It doesn't take very long, so keep this up. So you, what else I got going? All right. Got a little dark in my car, so I had to turn the light on. But uh, got it all finished up. Everything looks all clean. I don't know if you can see it all, but everything is all soldered together. I'm just gonna tomorrow. I'm gonna go ahead and try and wrap all the wires together so they're all kind of bundled together neatly and uh, everything should be good. I didn't really have any problems. Everything went well. It just took me for freaking ever. I couldn't finish it in time because this and that would pull up. I'd have to go to the bathroom. I'd have to go eat some lunch or something. You know, just something just kept popping up. So, basically everything got done. Um, I don't know, I thought, I forgot to mention this, I made like a little tray out of the tinfoil to catch all the little uh, pieces that you, when you pull the uh, coating off of the uh, wires, you put them in a little bundle over here to keep it all nice and easy and end up all over my carpet and all that. So, uh, yeah, that's it. See how it goes, I'll try and get a startup video here pretty soon let everybody know how it went yeah.